fantastic. All right, guys. So, um, I know my last video wasn't the best quality, so I forgot to edit it. So that's one of the reasons why it was really bad quality. I know you guys are gonna say, "Ooh, your camera sucks." No, it actually it's a pretty good camera, but um, I actually did forget to turn the brightness up and turn the audio down because much like Dash EXP loud as fuck one of the things will be in black or international but um this quality will be a lot better um just a little update um I will be most likely getting Resident Evil 6 or not most likely I am um the most likely is getting it on release date um I'm really gonna try to get it release date because I managed to get Tekken Tag 2 and this on release date. So, yeah. Resident Evil 6 is gonna be my last purchase of the year too for games. Um, the games that I really wanted, that is. Um, Black Ops 2 I want, but not as much as these three games. I won't be getting that. Unless I came upon a, quite a bit of money. But even then, I don't think I'd get it. I'm just losing my interest in it. Um, and there's another one, I believe, coming out. Medal of Honor Warfighter. I might give that a try. Um, I'll watch some gameplay of that before I purchase it, of course. Same thing with Black Ops 2. I've seen the multiplayer trailer. But enough about that. By the way, I am using the Assassin. Uh, my last one, I was using the Siren. Um, I think I'm going to make this a little series. Um... The only reason why I skipped the main part, and if I'm I'm going to make this a let's play, but um, the only reason why I skipped the first part is because I already had gameplay of the first part. So I just didn't think you guys would want to see that again. I know it's not really an official 100% let's play, but that's just how I felt about it. I was just like, you know what, I don't think they want to see the same part again, with a diff just with a different character. So, um, that's my reason why. So, for any of you little people out there who are going to try to criticize me for that, screw off. I think I'm over too much. My OCD's kicking in. Okay, that should be perfect right there. I usually have, like, issues or something. It's like, um, my TV's, like, over too far, usually. That should be, that should be good right there. Um, I am getting a capture card for my birthday. Um, so in about... I want to say in a month, yeah, because it's 23rd, so a month from now, I will have a capture card. Um, I am going to have to order it, though, because I'm not sure if the Future Shop, the Future Shop where I live, sells them for Mac. I've seen the HDP VRs, uh, almost shitting my pants, mind you, um, but, um, I wasn't sure if it was for Mac or not. I didn't really look at the detail, but, um, if I make any trips to uh, Future Shop, I will look into to see if it is for Mac, because if it is, then I don't have to order it. And I might even be able to get it early, so let's hope for that, because I'd, I'd honestly only like for my, do my camera videos like this, like for vlogs and stuff like that, with the upcoming Zach Wilde concert in Halifax, Nova Scotia, um, October 18th, which is three days before my birthday. Um, I'd really love to do like a vlog of just us, me and my buddy going there, just doing a vid leading up to when we are in the concert and stuff. I'm not going to take it in the concert because I'm not going to video it. I don't think you're allowed anyway. But yeah, I'd just like to just do vlogs with my camera instead of just doing game videos with it all the time because I'd rather just prefer to talk over gameplay, be more professional with it because... Uh, I am getting a lot bigger into YouTube now. Not by, I'm saying, oh, I'm becoming the shit on YouTube. By that, I mean me, myself. I'm starting to get into the editing a lot more. Things like that. So that's what I mean by that. <clears throat> so that was just a little update of what was happening. So you guys won't keep wondering, oh, when are you going to get a capture card? When's your quality going to be better? Well, there was your answer right there. I should have just put it in the description, but I didn't really feel like typing all of it. So, yeah. 
Another thing I forgot to mention, um, that if anybody, if any of you guys are wondering where my background came from on my channel, um, Sweeping Gold X, Sweeping Golem X, I talk about him a lot. Like I said, he's my cousin, so, um, he made it for me. Um, he's pretty, he's pretty, he's pretty good at that kind of stuff, so if you guys want a background from him, uh, like mine or anything like that, um, feel free to just send him a message. Um, he's featured on my channel, the featured channels. If you go on my page, his channel will be there, X Sweeping Golem. I'll also put a link in the description. So, um, yeah, just feel free to send him a private message, and I'm, I'm guessing he'll be more than happy to make you a background. Give him all the details, stuff like that. He... He has Photoshop, so he'll be able to do all of the cool shit for you. And I'm guessing the more you guys send him shit, the better he'll get at it. So, really it's helping you guys and him out. But enough with all the update stuff. Now let's get into the gameplay here. Let the let's play begin after six minutes. So I'll try to make this like a 12 minute video or something like that. If I'm, at, if I'm during, if I'm going to be fighting... Before the video gets over 15 minutes, um, I will just pause it, and in the next video I'll just continue the same fight. So I don't have to... Uh, I'm lost with words here. I just... I can do over 20 minute videos, I just don't want to... I just prefer to upload them straight to YouTube, and you can't do that if it's over 15 minutes. It's just... I just find it much easier. <clears throat> And just a side note, he did not, Sweeping Olm did not ask me to promote him. I wanted to do that myself because I think, um, he's really talented at making backgrounds and I thought he deserved it. Plus, I think he's going to get into, like, graphic design and stuff like that, so you guys would really be doing him a favor by getting him to make backgrounds and stuff just to get him experienced. But it's up to you guys. Save. Oh, I got a shield I can't even use. Oh, I can use now. I have level up. Very beastly. Let's put on a shield. Seven minutes. Okay. Oh, what am I rocking here? 103. You know I'm going to rock that 112. Damn. I'm just a little sore. I don't know if I pulled a muscle or hyperextended or... What? I really hurt my arm, though. Midget, mo midget, monglet? Oh, monglet. I, for some reason, I called it a midget. Zero is a really awesome character. I really like Zero so far. I haven't used his. Well, it basically feels like I'm playing just standard right now. But when I start using his action skill and shit like that. I think I'm going to really like his character. I like his action skills, or I like his skill tree so far. I knew it would come up. Pardon me. I just prefer if nothing happened while I was plugging it in because it makes you wait anyway after you do it. You know, those cords don't keep hitting the tripod, but you guys don't have to live through it. I want to get a longer one of these cords, like a USB extension, I'm guessing that's what it's called. My friend's got one, but... I don't. Oh, got a more powerful gun. Beautiful. That's a little tip for you Borderlands players. Um, I found do not pay attention to the other stats of the gun. Only focus on power. Because that's the most important, obviously. Um, when I, I found that I got a lot better at Borderlands when I just focused on the key elements. So if like, you get a shield, just say on Borderlands 1... Um, just say you get a shield that has 552 with health boost 40. Then you find another shield with 882, but it only has shield boost 
30, you um, you go with the 882 regardless of the health boost. Even though it's less, the shield's more. And usually on the skill trees, there's a thing to increase your maximum health anyway. So yeah, that's just what that's what I recommend. It, it, I just find the, your game, you'll be able to play it a lot easier if you just do that. It worked for me, but I don't know if it'll work for the rest of you. For those of you who played Rage, just out of curiosity, does this game look like Rage? Does this game like sort of look like Rage to you? Or for those of you who are playing, watching this that have this game, do you guys find that it, it feels like Rage sometimes? I actually, I feel like it it's like Rage sometimes. If you just exclude the graphics and just the, I think it's the way the characters move. Because on Rage, like, they're coming at you, full force, track run, sprinting, their arms are flailing around. I think that's what made it feel like Rage. I'm going to give that game another chance again, by the way. I said come up with the stacks on stacks. Oh, I got myself a rifle even though my gun, my pistol's better. Shielded favors, style is everything. You know I'm going to do these. Shielded favors. Head to Brewster Shield Bastard Southern Shelf. Expect what? You say elevator. Oh, that's just over there. But, um, pick up bully mong hair. Um, I can't do that. I can do shielded favors, though. The only reason why is because there's no bully mongs left. I killed them all. Um, almost approaching. I gotta leave also enough time to put my intro and intro and outro. So I think I'll cut it around like 14 minutes. So we have two minutes left of Let's Play Part 1 with the assassin. Zero. It is early, <clears throat> so I think I'll get a few videos shot. I think I want to shoot around 5 tonight. Sunday the 23rd. Uh, I will upload this one tonight. The 23rd. I'll try to upload them daily. I know I said that for my Borderlands 1 videos. I wasn't really feeling it though because I was saying in my head, Borderlands 2 is coming out in like a week, and I know that these people aren't going to watch Borderlands 1 if Borderlands 2 is out. The only people that are watching my Borderlands 1 videos are the people who've never played it before, and pretty much everyone's played Borderlands by now. If you haven't, I don't know where you've been, I don't know where you live, but you got to go and get this game right now because it's freaking amazing, and I'm probably going to die. So, oh wow, this is, oh, it's only a one shot, damn. Yeah, I'm dead. I hate the death animations in this game compared to the first game. In the first game, you just go, ah, and then it goes in like that, and you're instantly, like, alive. But this game, it, like, look how long it takes compared to the first game. It's the biggest piss off in the world. Oh, uh, shit. Let's go try that again. By the time I get there, though, I'll probably have to end the video. Yeah, I'll, when I get to there, I'll kill the guy that killed me first, though. I'm not liking that shotgun though, it's only one fucking shot. I should have picked the commando. Cause on Borderlands 1, the soldier has magazine cap and it's freaking awesome. There you are, motherfucker. You killed me last time. It's time for vengeance. No one would cut you up with my sword, ho. Okay, there's one last guy up here. Get him dealt with. Okay, so that was part one of the Let's Play. So stay tuned for part two.